Hi, this is Worth Godwin of WorthGodwin.com. In this lesson, I want to talk a little bit about a common computer term that is not really understood very well by most people, which is a driver. In this lesson, I will explain what this word means in a very simple, easy way that anybody can understand. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Worth Godwin of WorthGodwin.com. And I've been helping people with their computer problems for well over 13 years as a professional and even longer as a hobby, I guess you could call it, because I was the guy everybody that came, everybody came to when they had a computer problem or a question they got stuck and they needed help. And um, basically, over the years, I have learned to become a better teacher and I've learned how to explain things in a very simple, plain English way, which is what I'll be doing in this lesson. So, what is a driver? Well, a driver is a piece of software. And if you don't know what software is, let me very briefly explain what software and hardware are. Those are two other related terms. You might as well make sure you understand what they are so we're on the same page. Uh, hardware, first off, is all the physical parts of the computer. So, like the screen, your keyboard, your mouse, um, anything you can touch, basically. Uh, software, on the other hand, that's the sort of intangible things. Those are the things that are stored on the hard drive. That's the part of the computer that stores everything. And um, what examples would be your uh, Word files, um, any photographs you might have on the computer, music you might have on the computer, programs such as Word, or your email program, and so forth. And the software is what allows you to watch this video, and the video itself is a piece of software. So basically, uh, one way of thinking about it is hardware is like your brain, the physical brain inside of your head, and software is like the thoughts in the brain. They're not tangible, you can't touch them, but they're still there and they have an effect on things. So here's how you want to think of a driver. A driver, again, is a piece of software, and what it does is it allows two pieces of hardware to communicate with each other and it allows the software that's running on the hardware to work properly and again to sort of communicate with those things. So what does that mean exactly? Well, when you plug a mouse into your computer or a printer or almost anything, it, so to speak, speaks a different language than the computer does. And the different parts inside of the computer all speak a different language as well, so to speak. Uh, and so what the driver is, is it's kind of like an interpreter. Now, if you uh, think of uh, an ambassador, for example, who comes from one country to another, the ambassador tends to, go, if they're going to a country where it's a foreign country where they speak a different language, they bring an interpreter along or they have an interpreter who's there. And what does the interpreter does, do? He takes one language, say French, and translate it, translates it into English or um, Cantonese into uh, Japanese or what have you. And so, uh, basically, really, that is what a driver does. Without the driver, when you plug in a mouse, even as something as simple as a mouse, without the driver installed, it can't work because the computer can't talk to it and it can't talk to the computer. So that's really basically what a driver is. It's an interpreter. It's something that translates from one language to another language, so to speak. And I um, hope that makes sense, and I think that is a good way of explaining things most of the time when I've explained it to people that they've understood it. So hopefully that is true for you too. Now, if you need any more help with your computer, you need to understand computer terms any, any better, uh, I encourage you to go to my website. It's worthgodwin.com and you can go to there and if you're not already a newsletter subscriber, you can sign up to my free newsletter and you also have the option of joining my gold club and I have a free trial membership where you can sign up and get access to a large and growing library of very easy computer lessons that are online as well as getting CDs with video and audio computer lessons sent to your door. So I hope that makes sense what a driver is and if you want you can find more video lessons as well as audio lessons on my site and elsewhere, if you are watching this on YouTube or somewhere else, then you might find other of my videos there too. So until later, this is Worth Godwin of WorthGodwin.com, and have a great day.